All right, let's test the multiplier that um, our research group um, has designed. And we have a function generator with a single input. And uh, these multipliers need some kind of differential signaling. So we just use a buffer to get the positive end. And we use a inverting op amp to get the negative part. And then you just, rather than a, a multiplier, now it's a square. And you just have XP, XP, XN, XN, XP, XN, XN, XP. Right? And then you have that differential. Now, I'm just going to test with a sine wave like it's a function generator. Um, and plot V out. Right? And you can see, you know, it looks like a sine wave. It'll be a little more obvious when we plot it versus the function generator. Right? So we can see that it cuts out half the cycle and it's double the frequency. So it's uh, working so far, but really the big test will be if we kind of do like on an oscilloscope called an XY plot and plot versus the input, right? There's a straight line. Okay, and there's x squared. Or is it? Now this looks squared, but notice how it's starting to look linear there. So to see the actual region where it actually is acting like a, a square, we just take the square root of v out. Um, and I guess it knew to take the absolute... Oh, no. v out was positive. And so now here it's a straight line, right? So that means it's acting like a square. Um, it's not exactly going exactly to zero. He, and here it's not quite a straight line. And now it's curving over. So really, um, we could probably get away with 0.4. Maybe here. But here it might. Um, it's not truly squaring anymore. But the thing is, is it is nonlinear, right? And in some ways, almost any nonlinearity will get uh, a neuron to spike. However, in this linear region, it might not be a true spiking model. But you can do that uh, with the oscilloscope as well. Um, if you want to really, I mean, um, You know, what is it when the input is uh, plus or minus 5? And you can see that, you know, we have still have our squared. It's linear. And then it just stops working at some point. But that's the full range. All right. You guys did a pretty good job getting all that ready. You just needed to understand the testing. Have a good weekend.